for a game with overwhelmingly positive reviews and a low price point of $9.99, it's great on paper, but it's just missing something that's been staring at us this entire time. But before we get into that, we have to just have to touch on one thing about Lethal Company. This is a game developed by one man. No studio, no team, just one man with the love of furries, Roblox, and survival horror games. You can check the credits, he's had some support as well from the community, but this isn't his first game. You can see that Lethal Company takes some assets and inspirations from his previous titles, but with this fact gives us one interesting aspect and that's the experience that Zekers has. Now, what makes Lethal Company so good, in my opinion, is that he's developed this game in a structure that's so modular and pristine, it makes mod support cake. And when you really think about it, all the modders are really just helping Zekers come up with upcoming feature releases and patches for his release roadmap, and that's okay. I salute in the name of open source. This is how this shit works. Now with mod support, the viral community, and a great game comes our next point. How do you make a game so good that you have people out here pinching and pulling 3D models in Unity just to give us thick players in game with jiggle physics? I mean, look at this. But realistically, forget about the people who gave us like larger, larger lobbies. Do we really need that? No, it's not what we need. We need the mods. No, we need the features that give us the vibrating dongle bops from ButtPlug.io to get those lethal vibrations into the game. I know, sure as hell, that was on the roadmap, Zeeks. And you know what? The community, in the name of open source, they did it. They got it done. We're fixing Lethal Company. And all jokes aside, as my therapist always says, absence allows the heart to grow stronger. And in the case of the modding community, grow more efficient, hornier, and chaotic. And I'm here for the chaos. Now with that said, let's get back to that one thing about Lethal Company that needs to be fixed. It's been bothering me, and it's been staring at you the whole time. You use it every day, you interact with it, and it's the ship doors. You tell me you use the ship doors every day, and you never had that thought, or wondered, why can't these hangar doors kill me? Now I know there's been a time you're so f***ing close to meeting Quota, but your buddy sold the last shovel. All you had to do was just sacrifice a few members, get the job done, meet the Quota, but no. He sold the shovel, you guys got fired, and it was the end of the run. But what if the hangar doors were a tool? What if they were lethal? This is lethal as everything else in this game. And that's what started my journey. Now my YouTube audience confuses me, so I don't know if you guys want to see the boring sh that it's, I might find a little interesting, or you just want to see the cool sh the, the final product. So regardless, I'm going to fast forward to the boring stuff, just ask some questions in the comments, but we'll just end up looking at what the, the chef's kiss, the, the real details. None of that makes sense. So after you sink about 20 plus hours into installing dependencies and setting up your environment, then you have to start reviewing countless classes to understand what the f*** is going on in the game. Also, who is Harmony and why do I need her so bad? Then wrapping your head around proper RPC calls, then reverse engineering some stuff, flooding the logs, just to really understand if sh** really is making sense like I think it is. Also, who's player controller B? What happened to A Zekers? In addition, shout out to Mr. Minx, he was the one guy with a video on how to set up some of this. Then it's just guess, test, code, rinse, repeat till sh** starts to make sense. And when I say testing, I mean random victims in public lobbies. Okay, I don't hear you actually trying to talk, you might be muted. That. I'm stuck. Okay. What? Why am I hurt? What the heck? I can't move. Is this the mod? Uh, bro, what is this? Like, bro. Like, what is this? Then we start making some progress, and then I had the next thought. What if the doors can kill monsters? Then you're back at it again, but you did the groundwork, so all you have to do is figure out how to track the position of a dog spawning, and then once you have that location, you can just pass it to your function that kills things near the hangar doors, and then you end up with something that actually works in the thunderstorm. Just to add to the chaos. So today I'm telling you that we can fix Lethal Company. I can fix Lethal Company. You can do it. Anyone can. 
what it's lacking is what makes the game better. And that's what lets you start thinking about weird shit to just put out there. So, hell. Also, download Lethal Doors for today. Do it. Add it to your mod list. Give it a thumbs up. Do what you gotta do. What type of mod is this? Uh-huh. I see. So I say it's about time we get out of here, because I have no clue what type of mod that is. Whatever mod that is, I don't like it. What is it? What? Like, what? I... What? Yo, yeah, bro. Sorry about that. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can. Like, <laughs> I, 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 what? <laughs> no. So I made, I made a mod that uh makes the doors lethal. So the doors can kill you now, and you pinched yourself on the door when I closed it on you. Also, happy New Year's to all my subs throughout this whole year. It's been wild. It's been wild. I had one viral video for the Project Zomboid Iceberg. I went into a K-hole, playing a bunch of few other games. We had a, so too many AAA titles. Fuck. Baldur's Gate, Diablo, Starfield. Bro, I lost, I lost my life. I played some Vampire Survivors. I got lost in the sauce. Uh, still, still played some Project Zomboid, upload a few shorts, but definitely uh, didn't play as much. But I was playing other games. So if you want to see other content, let me know. But uh, regardless, Happy New Year's. Hopefully you guys have a good start to your 2024. Still pushing out content, gonna be gamer focused, gamer adjacent stuff, like tech and whatnot, so stuff like this, just stuff I like to do. But if you like to hear me talk about bullshit, drop that sub, but have a good one. Yo, Kenny, is this sellable? What is it? Ha 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 almost got me, you almost got me Go on, we're giving uh, valuable to the company like there. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>